Hello, everyone, and welcome to our innovative specialty dry lubricants and sealant seminar. Thank you for joining us today on behalf of Huron Industries. And with that being said, let's begin. In today's webinar, we will be covering the following topics. Why dry lubricants are an advantageous alternative, how to prevent galling on stainless steel and aluminum, what type of dry lubricants are available, advantages and disadvantages of graphite versus molly, different sealant and lubricant options for joint assembly, other application options and common mistakes, the Neolube product line and what they have to offer. And finally, we will have a brief question and answer segment. To start, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Deborah Hardy, the President and Chief Executive Officer for Huron Industries. I have been with this company for over 37 years. My team and I develop and deliver high quality thread lubricants and sealants. Our niche is managing high level products that conform to military specifications, contaminant requirements of PWR class one, BWR class one, GE D50YP12 non-metallic material specification and qualified product list. I guarantee that customers obtain high level personal service and are provided with samples and products in a quick turnaround time. I joined the company in 1984 and had the pleasure of working with our founder, John W. Bocamp II. Mr. Bocamp had heard the Navy required a lubricant to prevent galling of valve caps in nuclear submarines and aircraft carriers. The US Navy was becoming increasingly aware of the consequences of a stuck valve cap and knew how catastrophic and costly it could be. Due to the nature of the nuclear industry, stick, strict quality controls were being developed and with Mr. Bocamp's innovative insight, he worked with the US Navy to obtain a QPL rating on our Neolube number one. As a result, Huron has maintained their QPL status for Neolube number one since its initial approval in 1974. Neolube number one is still used by the US Navy and a growing number of nuclear power plants worldwide for over 50 years. In addition to military defense and nuclear power, our Neolu products are also used in various fields. Two of our fastest growing is aerospace and manufacturing. Now let's talk about why dry lubricants are essential. Dry lubricants provide high lubricity, reducing friction and wear and tear for sliding surfaces with the added benefit of corrosion resistance against friction. They prevent galling and critical applications, saving both time and money for the end user. When applied properly, dry lubricants can get into compact or constricting places, such as fasteners, springs, hydraulic fittings, valve components, seat slides, and rails, just to name a few. Dry lubricants don't attract dust and dirt, which often clog moving parts defeating the purpose of the lubricant. In addition, dry lubricants work at high temperature, high pressure, heavy loads, and have excellent thermal stability and radiation resistance, making them an ideal solution for maintenance-free lubrication. Now let's focus a little more on galling. Galling is the seizing or abrading of threads caused by adhesion between the sliding surface of a fastener's mating threads. Galling can cause significant fastener damage with threaded connections and eventually lead to fastener failure. Fastener failure due to galling can cause destructive and expensive repairs. The repair is time consuming and cumbersome if the failed fastener can be replaced easily. However, if the failed fastener is part of a large assembly, the whole unit may need to be scrapped, resulting in an expensive, time-consuming repair. This type of repair could be catastrophic to the operation in specific industries. Galling is easily preventable by taking a few moments to apply the correct dry lubricant 
for your application, saving you time and money in the end. To prevent galling, one must know the mechanics of thread galling. Galling is surface damage due to the excessive friction between two moving surfaces. For example, installing a bolt into a threaded connection. A proper lubricant should be used to reduce downtime and costly repairs. Each part should be inspected carefully before lubrication. Damaged parts should be segregated for rework or scrap. After initial lubrication, parts should be handled with care not to remove the dry lubrication or damage the threaded connections before assembly. Procedures and training are vital for a maintenance-free dry lubricant application. Switching gears, there are four major groups of dry lubricants, graphite, which is our neolube number one and number two, molybdenum disulfide, which is our molly to mil L 24478, PFTE Teflon and silicone. Each has advantages and disadvantages. Let's discuss graphite first. The advantages of graphite include the high load capacity of 50,000 pounds per square inch, the low coefficient of friction under high loads, the crystalline lattice structure, which allows it to be used as a standalone lubricant. Disadvantages of graphite are it requires a moisture vapor for optimal performance, it can be electrically conductive, and it's not suitable for high vacuum conditions. The next dry lubricant is Molly. The advantages of Molly also include a high load capacity up to 250,000 pounds per square inch and the ability to be used in high vacuum conditions. The disadvantages of Molly are it's hydroscopic, causing friction problems in the standard atmosphere, poor thermal conductivity, high sensitivity to humidity results in oxidation. The next lubricant is Teflon. However, please take note that Huron does not manufacture or distribute any Teflon products. Advantages of Teflon include low friction, it's not flammable, and moisture has no impact on corrosion or wear resistance. The disadvantages of Teflon would be when overheated, it can release mildly toxic fumes, the low load capacity of only 6,000 pounds per square inch and recent environmental concerns. The final lubricant we'd like to discuss is silicone. And again, Huron does not manufacture or distribute any silicone products. Advantages of silicone are they are dry to the touch, they displace moisture, and they prevent buildup. Disadvantages include difficult to remove, they are costly, and finally, they leave a residue on surrounding areas, mainly due to overspray. Now I'd like to turn your attention to the benefits of the two products Huron carries, graphite and molly. Graphite and molly have sub substantial benefits over Teflon, including the higher temperature stability, the natural crystalline lattice structure, both products occur naturally, and each product has a high chemical purity. Neolube number one and number two have a binder with a temperature limit of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. After 400 degrees, the binder burns off and turns to ash, leaving the graphite behind. However, graphite can continue to function as a lubricant up to 1,450 degrees Fahrenheit and act as an anti-seize up to 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. The advantages of molly over graphite include its impeding corrosion of stainless steel, a slightly better wear resistance, and it does not require water vapor for lubricity. This means it's ideal for high vacuum and deep space applications. Now, this is an exciting subject for Huron. Do you want to provide a leak proof joint or do you require a product that offers effortless assembly and disassembly? Well, what if you could have both? Our Neolube number 1260 is graphite and mineral oil based pipe thread sealant and lubricant. This product seals for high pressure, high temperature applications 
that can be used inside containment and secondary side of nuclear reactors. If your application is not as extreme and you are looking for a premium sealant, our Neolube number 100 would be your best option. As mentioned before, if galling is an issue, Neolube number one and Neolube number two would be your go-to lubricants. You must review all your requirements before selecting the best product for your assembly. If you are unsure, samples are always available. Anyone who has worked with graphite or moly-based dry lubricant understands the importance of selecting the proper application method. Using a brush gives you control of the coverage area with minimum spillage and waste. In addition, the brush allows you to place the lubricant exactly where you need it. Using a dry application can be very difficult and messy. However, in situations like a car door lock, it is most beneficial. Spraying is the most common application method and is considered the line of sight application. As a result, you obtain broad coverage and the ability to get into mechanisms that are unavailable through other application methods. Spraying is not recommended for very small diameters, internal bends, and long lengths. Dripping is a method where oil is added to the graphite or molly, thus allowing for deep penetration of the lubricant. The purity of the graphite or molly could be compromised if the proper oil is not used. Immersion or dipping is suitable for large batches of fasteners and small ID components. To obtain successful results with any application, starting with a clean dry surface is required. A clean surface allows you to inspect the part carefully for galling or any other damage that may be present. Another critical component is to mix the lubricant to a uniform consistency. Graphite and moly will settle and if not mixed uniformly will not provide the desired coverage. Brush on one coat and let air dry. To add additional coverage, apply a coat of lubricant to the other assembly part. Reinspect to assure proper coverage, assemble carefully to avoid any galling, and finally, clean up the workstation. When a lubricant or sealant fails, it is usually a result of operator error. Before application, ensure you have the correct product and mixture. Take care in applying the lubricant or sealant. Ensure you have complete assembly coverage Look carefully under the bolt heads. This is often the result of both lubricant and sealant failure. Take the time to mix the product uniformly before application. If the product does not mix correctly, you will not be protecting your assembly from galling and leaking. Verify you have adequate coverage on your assembly. You we have said this several times today, examine the assembly before applying the dry lubricant or sealant. A damaged assembly is sure to fail. Also, once you have applied the lubricant or sealant, examine the assembly again for proper coverage and to assure no damage was done to the unit. Take care with coated assemblies. Nicks and scratches after application will lead to product failure. Finally, store the products following the directions. Inadequate storage often leads to assembly failure. Now let's talk about our product line. Neolube number one is a dry film lubricant consisting of 99% pure furnace graphite, a thermoplastic resin and isopropanol. It meets military specification mil L24131 and GE specification D50YP2. The service temperature of Neolube number one is 400 degrees Fahrenheit with an intermittent temperature up to 850 degrees Fahrenheit. The thin, dry, non-corrosive film of Neolube number one prevents seizing, fretting, galling, and resists abrasion. Neolube number one is available in two and eight ounce brushing cap bottles, which are always in stock. Neolube number two is a dry film lubricant consisting of 99% pure furnace graphite, a thermoplastic binder, and isopropanol. Neolube number two provides non-corrosive dry adherent lubrication for metal parts with limited clearances in applications where control of impurities is required. 
Neolube number two is composed of the same ingredients as Neolube number one. However, it is not tested for military specifications. Removing the additional military testing makes Neolube number two less expensive. As with all our products, it still meets the stringent contaminant requirements of PWR class one and BWR class one. Neolube number two is available in a two ounce brush and cap bottle, pint, quart, gallon, pail, and drum, all of which are stock items. Neolube number 100 is a high performance pipe thread sealant designed to lock and seal metal pipes and fittings. This sealant is a creamy paste formulated to impart lubricity for assembly purposes, provide immediate low pressure sealing, and to cure to a solid for sealing and securing threaded pipe connections. In addition, this product has excellent solvent resistance and withstands temperatures up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit continuously. Neolube num number 100 has a 24 month shelf life and is available in 1.69 ounce tubes. Neolube number 1260 is the most recent addition to our Neolube line. It exhibits sealing and lubricating properties, making it an ideal replacement for standard products. Neolube number 1260 is a high performance paste and a high temperature anti-seize compound composed of nuclear grade graphite and nuclear quality petroleum based carriers. The sealant lubricant exhibits all the characteristics necessary for long life performance and even under the most severe conditions, including the critical service applications up to 1,175 degrees Fahrenheit and 2,300 PSI. In addition, the purity level of Neolube number 1260 allows it to meet the stringent certification requirements of the nuclear power generation industry, such as the General Electric non-metallic material specification D50YP12 revision 2. Neolube number 1260 is available in 1.69 ounce tubes. Molybdenum disulfide and isopropanol has been sold to the Navy and shipbuilding industry for many years. However, it has gained recent popularity in the general industry due to its high temperature performance coupled with the ability to be used in high vacuum and deep space applications. This product conforms to mil l 24478 and is available in two forms, a pre-mixed eight ounce bottle with a brush and cap applicator or a two part kit that you mix yourself. Both are stock items. To review, our company was established in 1971 and has sold the Neolube brand for over 50 years. I have been fortunate enough to be involved with Huron for 37 years, and I'm proud that we are now woman owned and managed. We have global distribution partners to assist us in providing products in a timely fashion to all that require Neolube. Our primary focus was nuclear. However, we have broadened our market base to include military, defense, industrial, and aerospace. Our product is affordable and prevents big problems in any industry that uses piping systems and fasteners, mainly stainless steel and aluminum. So don't let the term nuclear scare you off. Our Neolube line cost to value ratio is off the charts. We take pride in our quality system and our quality product. Each batch of product is tightly controlled and extensively tested. Huron is customer focused in solving all of your lubrication and sealant needs. On behalf of the Huron team, I would like to thank you for taking the time to join us today. If you are interested in samples of our product, please reach out to us we look forward to working with you in the future. That wraps up my presentation. I would like to open it up now for question and answer segment. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Deborah. Uh, for anyone who would like to ask uh, any questions, you can uh, do so in the Q&A section in the bottom of the screen. Uh, we'll leave that open for a few minutes. Otherwise, uh, we'll be sending out this uh, presentation to everyone who's attended and, and everyone who's on the list that registered. 
So uh, we'll send this along with the presentation in a slide format. And, and if anybody would like samples, they can um, get them through any of the links at the bottom of the thanks for attending page. Um, you can absolutely call. We're one of the few companies around anymore that when you call, you actually get a, a real person. Um, or if you prefer using electronic means, you can certainly um, use one of the electronic means to get samples, orders, etc. Uh, we've got a question here from Alan Monroe. Okay. Uh, his, Hi, que Alan. his question is, how would these products work on wind turbines? Uh, they, would, they would work. They would work excellent on wind turbines. And uh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Any any type of application where there is a threaded connection, um, they would. All of them would work excellent. Uh, Taco has a question. Um, what about using NeoLube in moving and non-static applications like fasteners? That is the primary purpose of our uh, new NeoLube brand in fasteners. That's for like disassembly, maintenance, like reducing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I think he's asking. Uh, yeah, he's asking. What about in uh, parts that move and slide against each other, uh, as opposed to something that gets assembled statically like a fastener? Uh, I mean, NeoLube itself is not primarily uh, uh, used for that. I mean, it's most yeah. often okay. used as not for that, but it could be used for that. And, and where the graphite and, and Molly solutions are, are really good is if you can't get to an area to lubricate it, you know, it's a, a lubricate and forget, then those can be good options, but would require some testing. I mean, you wouldn't want to do that, but you know, it also won't attract dust and dirt and other things like a grease wheel. And if you can't get into changing oil like you can in an engine or reciprocating machine of some sort, then, then these can be good alternatives. Yeah. Yeah. That was his question. I think I read it wrong. It says, what about using new lube in moving applications and not static? like fasteners okay yeah okay yeah. um alan has another question do these work as thread lockers they are not a thread locker they are a thread sealant but they are not considered thread lockers yeah you guys are more than welcome to jump on a call with deborah uh that number down there if you have any more questions definitely get in touch i think we're okay to wrap up all right Okay. Well, thank you everybody for joining today.